What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to send cryptocurrency to your Ledger hardware wallets. And this process is gonna be exactly the same whether you're choosing to send to a Ledger Nano S Plus or a Ledger Nano X. First, I'll be showing you how to do this with a desktop computer, and then I'm gonna be showing you how to do this from mobile. And then finally, I'll share a process with you that works for all of the major exchanges here in the United States that's going to allow you to create a schedule where you're automatically withdrawing funds from those exchanges to your Ledger hardware wallets. So go down below and smash the like button for crypto security and let's level up your brains. So the first thing we're going to do here on Coinbase is come over to my assets and then we'll go ahead and scroll down to the cryptocurrency that we want to withdraw. In this case, it's going to be Bitcoin. And then we can go ahead and click on Bitcoin primary balance right here. And we'll see this send and receive tab start to load over here on the right side of the page. And so now all we need to do is provide a Bitcoin wallet address that's associated with, in this case, our Ledger Nano X. And the interface that we use to interact with our Ledger physical devices is called Ledger Live. So we'll go ahead here and open up Ledger Live. So the first thing you'll see over here on Ledger Live is this portfolio screen. And if you haven't set up Ledger Live before, I'll leave a link to a video up in the cards where I show you how to set up Ledger Live with your Ledger Nano S Plus. But for the rest of this video, we're gonna be assuming that you've already set up your Ledger Live. The first thing you're going to do is go ahead and click on accounts over on the left hand side of the screen and then next if you have multiple accounts you'll select the account that corresponds with the ledger that you're trying to send the money from coinbase to so i'm going to go ahead and select the account here for my bitcoin ledger nano x and now all i'm going to do is click on this receive button up here at the top of the screen we'll go ahead and continue with the account to credit being bitcoin nano x and then now i have to open up the bitcoin app here on my ledger device and it's prompting me to do that and so i'll just click both buttons and now my bitcoin app here on ledger is going to be ready to go. So now it's showing me an address in two places, on the Ledger physical device and on my computer. The address on the physical Ledger device that I'm holding in my hand is the one that I know is for sure correct because it was generated using the secure element that's on board the Ledger. And so at this point, what Ledger Live is asking me to do is to make sure that the address that's shown on the device is exactly the same as the address shown on the computer. If the address shown on the computer was something totally different, it might mean that my computer has been corrupted and that there's some virus that's trying to get me to copy this address and then send my Coinbase coins off to some malicious third party and not to the address that actually corresponds with the ledger that I'm physically holding in my hand. So now I'm gonna go ahead and compare the first few letters of this address and the last few characters of this address and make sure that they're the same on the device and on the screen and they do look to be exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this address right here on my computer and then I'll go ahead on the ledger and just approve the address. So now it's saying that it securely shared the address with me and so now I can go ahead and click on done. Next, all I'm going to do is paste that address back in Coinbase. So we're heading back into Coinbase. We're pasting the address right here and we can add an optional note, maybe sending to Ledger Nano X for YouTube demo. And then we'll go ahead and choose to send maybe $15 of Bitcoin. So that looks like 51,293 Satoshis. And so we'll go ahead and click on continue. And then we'll click on send now. And then we'll see here that we're getting a $1.54 network fee. That is not a fee that like Coinbase is charging you. That's a Coinbase related fee. That is the Bitcoin miner fee that is associated with being able to send and receive Bitcoin across the Bitcoin network. So let's go ahead and click on send now. It's been about five minutes here since we sent this transaction from Coinbase to Ledger. And so what should we be expecting to see over on Ledger? we should be expecting to see this amount of Bitcoin minus our fees, which is down here in the bottom of that transaction. So 51,347 Satoshi should be the balance. And if we head over to Ledger and we go ahead and click on this transaction, we should be seeing those exact 51,347 Satoshis. So that's how you're gonna send funds from Coinbase to Ledger on your desktop. Next, let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on our mobile devices. All right, guys, so here we are on our iPhones. The exact same process will work for your Android devices. The first thing we're going to do is open up our Ledger Live apps. And if you've never used your Ledger Live app before, you're just gonna go ahead and click here on Get Started. You're gonna say, yes, I do own a Ledger and you're going to sync with your desktop app that you just had open. And so all you're gonna do here back in the Ledger Live app is click up in the top right on settings. You'll click on accounts. 
and you'll come over here to export. And so now on your phone, you'll click I'm ready to scan and you'll say, got it. You'll give Ledger access to the camera and then you'll scan this moving QR code. And then you can choose to sync some of the wallets from that account or all of the wallets from that account. And you can go ahead and click on import here. And now we're totally done with our desktops and we can continue the rest of the tutorial just straight from our mobile devices. Next, we just have to follow the exact same steps where we generate a new address from our Ledger devices and then give that address to the Coinbase app on our phone so that we can move the money from Coinbase over to Ledger. So all we're gonna do is down at the bottom here, this little trading icon in the middle, and then we're gonna click on receive. And we'll go ahead and choose to receive Bitcoin to our Ledger Nano X. And so now what it's telling us is that for our security, it recommends that we generate another address from our physical Ledger device. And we don't just trust the addresses that we synced over from our computers. Probably 99% of the time, the address that you sync straight from your computer and the address that it's suggesting that you use there is gonna be totally Totally fine and you're not going to have to sync with your ledger device but the whole point of getting these hardware wallets in the first place is so that you don't trust things like this you can actually verify with the hardware wallet that the address that it's showing you is completely accurate so let's go ahead and click on verify my address and we will pair with Bluetooth to our Ledger Nano X. Important to note here, if I was using a Ledger Nano S Plus, I would not be able to do this using my iPhone and that's really the big benefit of getting a Ledger Nano X in the first place. However, if you're over on Android, you can get by with either a Ledger Nano S Plus or a Ledger Nano X and you should be able to do this exact same thing by just plugging in the physical Ledger to your phone. But again, if you have an iPhone, the only way you can do this is with a Ledger Nano X. You cannot plug a Ledger your Nano S Plus into your iPhone and do what we're doing right now. So let's go ahead and continue here by syncing to our Ledger Nano X. So over on our ledgers, what we're gonna have to do is hold down both of these buttons and that's going to open up the control center. And so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that our Bluetooth is enabled, ours is, so then we can go ahead over onto our iPhones and just retry that pairing. It's going to ask us to validate that these codes are exactly the same on the device and on our iPhones. So we'll go ahead and click on pair, and then we'll go ahead and confirm the pairing on the ledger also. And so now on the iPhone, we're doing a device authentication check to make sure that the ledger is in fact valid, and then we'll go ahead and click on continue once the pairing was successful. So next we'll go ahead and click on our device. And then back on the physical ledger, we can go ahead and close control center and open our Bitcoin app. And so now we're going through the exact same process of generating a valid address on this ledger that is not plugged into any computer, as you can see. It is fully operating off of Bluetooth. And now we will verify that the address shown on the ledger is the same as the address shown on the iPhone. They look the same, so I'm gonna go ahead and approve that address on the ledger. And then I will copy this address from the iPhone. Next, all I'm gonna do is swipe up and head over to Coinbase. I'll click on over to my assets down at the bottom of the screen, and then I'll find Bitcoin. I'll go ahead and scroll down to this primary Bitcoin balance here. And I'll go ahead and hit this little paper plane icon to send away my Bitcoin. And now it's asking if I'd like to paste that address from Ledger Live. And I'll just go ahead and allow paste and click on continue. I could add this as a contact, my Ledger Nano X to my Coinbase account if I wanted to. But for now, let's just go ahead and click on continue. And I'll go ahead and send 15 more dollars of Bitcoin straight out of my Coinbase account and over to my Ledger. And we'll go ahead and send now. We can see that I'm getting, again, about a dollar and 50 cent network fee. So let's go ahead and confirm this transaction. And again, do our two-factor authentication. And so now we got a notification that we sent our Bitcoin out of Coinbase. And so now we can go ahead and click on done and then wait back in our Ledger Live app for that Bitcoin transaction to be confirmed over here in Ledger. It does take a while for some of these transactions to get confirmed. I've been waiting for like 10 or 15 minutes now and this one still has not gotten confirmed. But when it does, I'll throw a screenshot somewhere here in the video so that you can see what that looks like for yourself. So that's it for how to send cryptocurrency fully on mobile to one of these Ledger Nano X devices. Again, that's only gonna work on iPhones for the Ledger Nano X and it is pretty much the reason to get a Ledger Nano X. I think if you have an Android, you should probably just get a Ledger 
Ledger Nano S Plus, just because of the price differential. But if you want a full comparison for both of these devices, definitely check out the video that I did comparing them up in the card somewhere and then also down in the description. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you learned something, definitely smash the like button so that YouTube shares it with other people. And as promised here at the end of the video, if you wanna go through all these steps that we went through today on an automated basis, check out this video over here to learn how to do that with Coinbase or any of the videos down in the description for how to do it with some other popular exchanges. That's it for today, guys. I love you all. See you next week.